Boarding is a very important part to the Royal Grammar School and we take a great deal of care in looking after them. Many are seven day boarders, in other words they board full time, some of them board for five days and they go home to their parents uh, at weekends and some of them are day boarders and that is a new concept we're developing where parents have expressed a wish because they work late in the evening, many, many evenings, that they wish their sons to remain at school so that we can uh, feed them, they can do their homework in the boarding house and they can also do some activities which the full boarders would be doing. I was the only person who came here from my old school and I really didn't know anybody but they all made me feel at home and welcome. It was an open environment, everybody was really friendly um, so in about a week or so I was, just felt like I'd been here for ages. I often say when I'm at home that I'm going back to, I'm going back home and my mum gets a bit annoyed. Our house is organised very much with a sixth form at one end of the house in single ensuite accommodation and then the dorms which are the maximum numbers are four and the junior dorms at the other end and that means bedtimes and also social times it means that um, whilst our sixth form would be expected to support and help the younger ones it also gives them their own space. RGS is here to support the boys and to make them have the opportunity to achieve their full potential and that is not just in the classroom. There will always be someone there if you're feeling down to talk to and it is sort of like a second family here, a second time. You've got all of your housemasters who you can speak to at any time if you need to but then you also get your individual boarding tutor who just like if you need anything just go to see them they keep you in line at school and that sort of stuff. Boys are going to be homesick if they have little to do. And so having a school day that extends to probably about 5.15 with sports practice and things afterwards, you must be able to put on a, a huge programme of activities. Uh, and we do eight different activities over a two week period. Uh, and it is absolutely central that the boys are having fun and enjoyment and, and doing activities and the ability to socialise with one another as well as doing all of the academic work that you'd expect from a grammar school. <laughs>